one of the oldest names for God is Yahuwah Elohim. Put it on the screen for me, Jordan. Somebody say Yahuwah, Yahuwah. Elohim. Elohim. Also known as Yahweh. Yahweh. Also known as Yah. Now what I'm about to show you should change your life. Because God says in all you're getting, get understanding. God says that wisdom is a principal thing. If you ever wondered how close God is to you and how close you are to God, I want to show you he's closer than you ever realized. Show them a picture of human DNA. And I know some of you are struggling because you didn't do well in school. You're like, I don't see nothing but a, a H and an O and some O's and some P's and an O-H and a... So let me break it down for you folks. This is a picture of human DNA. We are made of nitrogen and hydrogen and oxygen and hydrogen. I didn't make this up, Google it. And for those of you that still are a little slow, go to the next slide, Jordan. Let the slides preach to you. <laughs> Somebody should have stayed in school. In human DNA is the name of God. Don't you ever let the devil make you think God ain't near you, God ain't close to you. He's closer to you than you ever realize. Wherever you are, God is. <laughs> Now I understand why Jesus said in John 17, I pray that we all will be just as you and I are one father, as I in you and you are in me, that the world may know for sure and believe that you sent me. I just need you to know that God's name is written on your DNA. And all you got to do is stand on every situation that stands against you and you'll be putting God's DNA on it. That's why God says everywhere you put your foot, the land belongs to you. Everywhere you lay your hand, God says I've given you power and authority to rule over every demon on this planet. God's DNA is on you because God's DNA is in you.